we transformed an area so that people could see and actually sit on and get their photo taken on the Iron Throne. Not just that, but also they had the chance to see uh, White Walkers, to hear PA announcements by Ned Stark. They could hear the theme tune played by, by buskers. It brought a real smile to people's faces and I think helped to launch Series 7 of Game of Thrones. It was great. So working very closely with the operational teams was important. Also, Exterian Media. So they are our media partner. We've had a contract with them since October. And between us and Exterior, we're looking to make the best of, you know, the best use of the best out of home advertising state in the world. And so thinking about what's the best things that are happening in London, what's the best things that are happening in the world? How can we bring those things onto our network in a way that engages the thousands of people that use our network every day? This for us is just, it's an example of the sorts of things that we can do. You know, we've already got the most valuable outdoor advertising estate anywhere in the world. But we want to transform our estate and we want to transform the outdoor industry. We can bring together uh, advertising, experiential marketing, public announcements. You know, we, we can also bring into that mix online, retail, with millions of people every day with assets across London. For me, this isn't about selling posters on a wall, it's about selling to the most valuable, most diverse, most engaged audience anywhere in the world. I think, to be honest, there's only one man in London who should sit on the Iron Throne. He's our boss, he is the mayor, he's the person who is ensuring that London is open for business. I'm not sure whether he'd want to sit on an Iron Throne, but I'm sure he would look fantastic if he did. It's a, a supermarket like you've never seen before, but it sells art thought up by a 10-year-old. It wasn't it was thought up by me. <laughs>